I trust more Ori than you driving, to be honest. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about the infusing herself with coffee. Oh, we are glad to hear that then. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Yes, I do not trust you to drive the ship. Well, soon I'll be driving. Yes. We have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. More than eight years of friendship. Precisely because of those eight years of friendship, I know that you will drive the ship right into a fucking kraken. <laughs> That's why I don't trust you with the wheel. It will always be hard. Languages will keep changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. And <laughs> we will beat it. Dude, I've only killed the Kraken twice. And I've encountered the Kraken like 10 times. That is a 20%. I... No. <laughs> Especially not with a full ship. We had the ship full of fucking treasure. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Um, I don't think I have the exact number. But full time, I should be able to write between 3 and 5,000 words per day. Full ship, more fun. Ah, oh, you are exhausting. <laughs> That's a lot. That's rough. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That is right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a present information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. Uh, I think it should be around 15,000 words. That is pretty big for a fish draft. Well, it's DRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the numbers worse, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand, but we learned beforehand that art is difficult matter. Even for Earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts. Right again. But you are not that wrong about writing, you know? World count is one of the few things you can objectively judge uh, a story by. It is not the most important thing, but it is still up there. So it is still a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. <laughs> he said cool! Neil said cool! He's learning! That didn't sound a lot uh, at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something down there. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. <laughs> the last time these two were in the same room, Neil thought Myrtle was his date, and he tried to brief her. So, this is awkward. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. So, two coffees and one ginger. Can you repeat that? No. <laughs> yeah, see? Is the, the hand of Neil now serving the coffee? I didn't fully understand what you said. Oh, oh, no, uh, okay, in that, in that case I can repeat it. 
the last time Myrtle and Neil met in the in the coffee shop, Neil was waiting for his date, um, and Myrtle appeared, and he thought Myrtle was his date. So he went immediately into the conversation of, do you want me to breed you? And he was like, finally, a date, I can breed someone. And Myrtle was like, uh, no. Your order is ready. Thank you for the clip, Terra. Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Psst, Neil, some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Huh? Pardon us? I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You are still trying to get late. Uh. Oh. No, we are not. <laughs> we are tasked with learning how early. <laughs> Freya is having a fucking blast right now. <laughs> Freya is just laughing her ass out. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. Communicate with each other. Yeah, well, that is a step in the right direction. One suggestion. If you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking more the way we talk. Start listening to the way we listen. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Step by step. One small step for you. Might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. Are you stealing fucking words from Neil Astrom? By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. No, oh, is it a one? Uh huh. What's the occasion? Uh, no special occasion. It's just. Aqua, that is so squishy. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but. Uh, what is this? <laughs> what is happening here? I already told the barista to call the, uh, the cops when he said he was going to breed you here. Where is Alphonse? I'm in front of you, you weirdo. Miss Aqua, please calm the fuck down. I'm here. Oh, you are safe. Yes, everything is fine. Neil didn't kill me. Oof. Okay. Please let me take a breath. Please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It is all right, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? If I have to fucking explain again that I'm training him to speak better, I'm going to rip my eyelids off. We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. Thank you, Neil, for saying exactly what I was feeling. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh, no problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway, so here's the deal. Thank you for not making me explain this. That is really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Alphonse. Oh, it's nothing really. But you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. 
Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start, but we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. <laughs> seriously? Seriously, of all the places you are going there. Okay. What? <laughs> what are you going to do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breathings happening during Coachella. <laughs> oh, this game. Well, <laughs> no, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> that is why we decided that the event will be our next target. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> I love that Ori and Freya went exactly to the same place. <laughs> But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about earthlings. Including the breathing manners. That is why we will study in Coachella. After that we will be very ready to breathe with so many female earthlings. Shouldn't say this, but hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We also surprise ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to a spot behind the bar. That was a short break. <laughs> So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Uh, it's nothing. We are just friends, you know. Are they on a date? Is this their their, their first date? We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in the game development, you see. I hate and I love that the vibration on the fucking controller is exactly like a telephone. It's, they, they, mimicly, they mimic it perfectly. English is not a thing. But it really feels like a telephone vibrating. Especially if you're, if you're holding it with both hands. It feels like you're holding a telephone. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I always was a bystander. So I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly. But she arrived first. So I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I would refuse it anyway. But... Wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with me? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your... Neil, humans don't like to be corrected on their, on their language. So, yeah. Oh, so... You are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick on that, anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down here. Don't go meta on me, Freya. Don't go fucking forward breaking on me. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you are done with your game? 
there's quite a lot of things that, that need uh, polish and fix. But players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give to people for that video? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing control and the UI UX. Huh. It must be fun to have finished working your to have finished working on your creation. It certainly removes some of the weight of my stress. Just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after the word uh, you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it still doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. Sorry to hear that, Freya. But please, be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. Yeah, I didn't notice that I had this app until now, so... <laughs> we are fucked. They are really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them all. So I'm excited to check your book once it's done. You are too kind, Aqua. What you are going through... It's more or less the same as what Myrtle is going through. I'm so sure that you will both be fine. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know? Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I am really sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. Would you two just kiss each other already? I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kinda get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight, but no one outside the office knows about it, and those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought the Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. <coughs> I'm fucking dying. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under friend DA. <laughs> friend DA. Oh my god, I, I'm going to steal that. I'm going to fucking steal that. I'll tell you under friend DA. <laughs> that is the best fucking joke I have seen this game. <laughs> oh god, that is really good. That is really, really good. Alright, I'm not in. I'm not with the paper anymore, so anyway. I'm part of the special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for the new IP. Or, worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Huh. That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches. Dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful approved for a prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There is only seven of us on the team. The Seven Samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last few years? Sometimes our team works to support others, 
when they are going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks are considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized. What? Usually the developers get their vacation time after finishing the project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That is like four years ago. Uh huh. Dude, no wonder you are so burned out. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is. I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, and the day after, and another day after all. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? They're having their own... Their own uh, spin-off episode. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey. Okay. But I can do it tomorrow. How about starting on Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Uh, Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. Ah, tell me. I love that Neil never interrupted them while they were talking. Like, Neil is really learning quickly. Because he didn't talk at all during this conversation. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. Prepare for a getaway. I'll come with you. You are going home together? Huh? To, to my apartment? No, we will walk together to the bus stop, just like the last time. Oh, oh. Uh, I thought they were going home together. Okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care of that. May you find uh may you find joy during your vacation. Oh it is Neil. I was like, that sounds nothing like Alphonse. Uh, see you folks later. Did she take my coffee cup or did I take it? <laughs> I just noticed that whenever they go away the coffee cup also disappears. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But no, no. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Still in the house. I definitely won't say no. Ginger Chai Latte. Galahad. Wait, 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 wait. The Galahad. Ginger Chai Latte. Good to calm your nerve. Is that the recipe I need for Gala? Also, I love the fucking latte art that he has. Is this the recipe I need for Gala? Cool. I didn't save. Friday, October 2nd. I'm leaving this one here because my throat is really killing me and I'm going to change to... Uh, uh, I'm going to change to Metal Gear. A uh, new healthier Fury Sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell playing for violence in school. The Evening Whispers is with the people for strict, uh, stricter gun laws. 
probably not the best game to play nowadays because it's kind of super real. But yeah, I'm I'm um, ending this one here. It's been good. It's been good to come back to Coffee Talk. I I miss this universe and I miss this this story. But my throat didn't miss it. <laughs> so I I'm ending this one here. I'm I'm going to change to the PS3. Shouldn't take long because everything is plugged. I only have to get up to get the controller. Um. Yes, we are going to start Metal Gear Solid 4, game that I've been wanting to play for a long time because I haven't played it since since before having my own PS3, which means before 2018. I haven't touched that game in a long, long time. So, and we are going hard. We are going hard with uh, Big Boss hard. So yeah, it's going to be nice. I was thinking about giving you a subscription rewards as in sense of if we reach this amount of subs i will play on hard i will play on very hard i will play on uh european extreme and all that but uh the hardest starting difficulty because this game was made for cowards uh is only hard so yeah we are starting on, on simply hard so i hope you enjoyed the <laughs> the stupid image I, I made a long time ago and uh, I will be back with Coffee Talk some other day seeing that the curse is broken and I will bring Metal Gear in a second so thank you